Vikings re-sign Gregory Joseph. Welcome back to One Bar and Lopagus Show. I'm Lopagus here with One Bar. Minnesota Vikings have themselves a kicker. It's the same kicker they had last year. Greg Joseph is back for another season in purple. Yes, and uh, before we get into old Gregory, hit that sub button. Let's get 10,000 subs here every damn day talking Vikings 76 times a day. So hit that sub button. May even be more these days, but even yeah. more than that. I love this time of year. It's the best. You mentioned 76. That was about Greg Joseph's field goal making percentage last year. It was. So they bring back Greg Joseph. Something tells me we haven't seen the details yet. Just like last year, I don't even think anything was guaranteed. They just signed him, see what happens. Um, I mean, is there details about the contract or no? Yeah, I saw it's a one-year deal. That's all I saw. So just like last year, and all I'm going to say is, you know, Greg Joseph was not the issue last year. As much as we want to look at his percentages, look at his missed extra points, all Greg Joseph did was win games. So Greg Joseph, if you're going to look at this and say, this is a horrible sign, this is bullshit, and that he he was the issue last year, you are very, very wrong. He was not the issue. But you got to think the only reason he is brought back is because of those game-winning kicks, the ones he made. I uh, look at the 60, was it one or two that beat the Giants? Baby. The game he had in, in London against the, the Saints, he was on fire that game. Uh, his extra points, I mean, yeah, they didn't really cost us any games. But to me, and why this to me is frustrating, there's just so many other options out there. Uh, really? Probably could have the same price, you know, more consistent kickers over the course of their careers. Uh, so that's why, to me, this is a little bit disappointing bringing him back when there was, I mean, it's one thing if there was like two kickers out there and they're both gone. Okay, then bring back Greg Joseph. I, I think there was upgrades to be had. They went they went the familiar route. They did. Matt Gay already signed. Greg Zerland already re-signed. I mean, you look at the options out there. Robbie Gold already made it very clear that he wants to make a lot of money. So I take him off the table. Uh, Mason Crosby, uh, no thanks. But other than that, I mean, we talked about Chase McLaughlin. There really isn't a ton. Here's the way I see it shaking out. We signed him. They're going to bring in a rookie kicker or some yep. free agent and may the best man win. They're going to see them kick in preseason, in training camp, and the best guy will win. But, again, I, I'm just going to stick with the fact that uh, Greg Joseph was not the issue last year. So I, uh, I'm not that bent out of shape. Greg Joseph, I'm not a huge fan of him, but this doesn't – it's not going to keep me up at night. No, I think you made a great point. I mean, with, with a contract being one year, it's probably going to be just a pube above league minimum, whatever the hell mm. a kicker's league's minimum salary is. Uh, it doesn't stop him from drafting a kicker. doesn't stop him from signing an undrafted free agent and you know kicker after the draft. So – I do think there will be a competition. Hey, it may even be another young, crusty vet. Maybe Chase McLaughlin's still sitting out there to bring him in and have those two compete. So uh, if it was a three-year deal, that means the team's committed to Greg Joseph. It's just a one-year deal. So, yes, there could definitely be a kicking competition in camp this year. So, hey, get your asses. Go buy those Greg Joseph jerseys. He's going to be here until at least 2027. We know it. Yeah, you know what? And now he's our kicker. So all you can hope you know, is that he uh, – Continues to hit those game winning ones. The guy does have ice in his piss. That's for sure. Yeah, ice in his piss. Unfortunately, he does not have ice in his piss when it comes to extra points. But you know what? Maybe he got those shanks out. He's ready to go. Maybe he was uh maybe he was this. Maybe he was one of the 50 million people out there who are drunk right now. 